doing what? The point. Tonight we've got Japan's funniest lady, uh, Tamayo Atsuki. Music from the Golf Aid Benefit musicians like Stephen Bishop, Meatloaf, and ex Eagle Don Felder is here tonight. <laughs> and we're going to talk with the founder of the Mamas and the Papas, Mr. John Phillips. So stay right here. We'll continue on the Southern I'm Martha Quinn, we're back on The Late Show this evening. I hope you saw us a little earlier when we had the performance by Fuzzbox. This is the name of the album, it's called We've Got a Fuzzbox and We're Gonna Use It. Ladies, what exactly is a fuzz box? <laughs> and we got dirty oranges in here. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Well, <laughs> an effect, a fuzz box is an effects box for a guitar or a bass, you see. It's nothing else whatsoever. But it makes it go... <coughs> <laughs> I see you've been asked this question before. <laughs> yeah. Once or twice. <laughs> this is your first trip to America, is that right? It is yeah. indeed. And how are you finding it so far? Um, we found most places all right, actually. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> no, it's, um, it's really good, actually. I mean, you wouldn't sort of believe that, you know, Ronald Reagan was president of the country, really, but there you go. And uh, most people are really nice and have been really friendly, and, you know, sort of, it's really impressive. Wait, what do you mean about Ronald Reagan? What, well, what are you saying exactly? Well, anybody that mistakes Princess Diana for Princess David <laughs> is, like, perhaps a little suspect. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, uh, Joe is the second to my right. I noticed that you have a cast. What happened there exactly? Oh, 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 up in like the air that. and ended up with my bone sticking out of my leg. Oh. <laughs> what is the story with you girls? How long have you been together? Two, Two whole years. years. Two whole years. And how did you wind up with a record contract on Geffen Records? There's quite a few <laughs> people with immense taste around, as I've already said. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I suppose we were signed to Warner's in England anyway, and Geffen's like part of Warner's in America, so they followed Warner's wonderful example, really. <laughs> <laughs> and you've been on tour here in America? How is the, oh, all the shows have been going well? well? They've been going really well, yeah. We've done um, the East Coast, West Coast, a bit of Canada. And they've been having a right good laugh, haven't we? Haven't we, girls? <laughs> it's been really good. The, the audiences have been really nice, really enthusiastic, and been very pleased with it all. And travelling across the country, where do you figure that you guys have gotten, say, the funniest reaction to the way you look? Pittsburgh. Yeah. It was in Pittsburgh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we judged all these times, like, you know, sort of, on movies really and like Pittsburgh was what we termed a Salem town and we've since discovered that a lot of like horror movies have been made there and, <laughs> and I mean you wouldn't think that but like these two girls came out of a shop and so we've seen one of one of us I don't know which one was it was one of the others it wasn't me certainly wasn't nobody'd laugh at me and they pointed at them and just laughed and laughed and was sort of like rolling about Hysterically. Falling over. Falling over on the, the you know, on the floor. <laughs> What's your reaction? What, what did you check to see if your fly is closed? Or... <laughs> I'm quite used to it, really, because we get the same reaction in Birmingham. Because, like, all the mothers and fathers sort of look at you and laugh and say, Oh, my God, how could... How do your parents let, let you go out? <laughs> Now, this is your first American tour, as you were saying, so are you sharing rooms at this point, or do you, all, do you have enough money to each have your own separate rooms? Oh, no. Are we still sharing? So, what do you fight about? You must. Um, well, I have to share with the wardrobe mistress, and she just, like, brings all the wardrobe in, opens all the suitcases, puts them all over the floor, and I've, like, got my broken leg, and I'm, like, hopping oh, in on my oh, crutches. Broken leg. <laughs> so I keep arguing with her constantly. And what about as a band? We don't actually argue very much. I mean, we're not sort of catty or jealous of one another or anything like that, because that's, that's naughty and silly. But... Says Miss Moon face. I mean, I say why. But we just sort of about, you know, things that the band's going to do. We just sort of, you know, discuss. Well, I don't know. We don't really fall out or anything. We never fall out. We argue. Obviously, it's been sort of abnormal not to, but it never lasts. It's only a couple of minutes and you then... You just got to be sort of understanding. I mean, like, us four, we're, you know, totally different characters and so on. You just have to think, well, you know, I accept that such and such is different from me. And, that, and that's what you have to do, man. <laughs> so all told, you get along okay, well enough yeah. so that you'll be together till at least the end of the show. You can do one more song. Oh, I think we should be able to <laughs> Meatloaf backstage, incidentally, was very interested in Vicky's skirt. I know what I did offer for him to try it on, but it wasn't very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to try it on at the end of the show, though, on the top. We're going to take a break at this point. We're going to be back after this message, and we've got a lady who is laughed out of Osaka, they tell me. Japanese comic Tamayo Atsuki is on the way on a late show. Just 
closet. Does. We all play closet golf. You see? <laughs> That's, uh, so it's, you know what it is? It's it, being in the studio all the time. I think it's, uh, for me it is. I'm probably speaking for the rest of the guys too. You know, you're locked up in four walls. It's dark, and you know you work all day long. So it's nice to go out and uh, swing a club and. Try to hit a little ball that size. Yeah, night golf is really good, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. See, I'm competitive. I'm getting competitive now. It's not till Monday, but I'm gearing up for it. Yeah, he's a very competitive person. Do I'm you a, really I'm play golf, golf Meatloaf? Don't I look like Jackie Gleason or what? Come on. <laughs> I'm a hell of a miniature golf man myself. I, I can play miniature golf with the best of them. It's That's sad. Right. He can, but, the, the but he has to wear this here. jacket That's, to play. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> it's me here. I like to play anything with little windmills yeah. on the course. That's what it is. Well, see, Jimmy has an edge on us because he's from Scotland, so that's where the game was invented. So. But now, Greg, we I got we got a plug here. We oh, got, yeah, that's we right. We got a plug. Right. Okay. Can now, I get the show? Oh, the get the doing, showing his jacket. Right. That's right. <laughs> and being a uh, groovy guy um, and a commentator. He's a commentator. I'm a commentator. I will be commentating. Now, I actually don't know how to play golf. My dad's uh, an incredible golfer. He's got a nine handicap. Uh, me, I give puppy warming parties, that kind of thing, you know? <laughs> I'm not really uh, a golfer, well, so I'm just going to experience the, the karma, the flow, the cosmicness of, of this golf. Close the show with another song by Fuzzbox, and this one is called Love is the Slug. Woo! 